Alright guys, let's make this a shout out. Yeah. Gotta say, I'm feeling a bit more confident than I was earlier today. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I don't know. I mean, I've never seen them in battle, and what kind of builds will they bring in? We just wrecked them. <laughs> and I'm listening to the Twitch stream. You should have heard the the great comments we were getting. Oh, <laughs> oh nice! Like, I missed really it. Up the game, the communication was spot on. <laughs> a little bit biased, but I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm surprised they didn't get Rocka in the commentators just to shit on me the entire game. <laughs> Let's do this, boys. Okay, I'm moving up the two line. You guys, go ahead of me. I will catch up. <laughs> Catch up. And I'm moving at a quick clip of 106. I should be running into them soon. They might have ECM. Going around C3 hill. C3, they're at basic caldera. I see them. I'm gonna run behind them, and they don't know it. Target acquired. I'm opening up on their firebrand. I'm going to swing around C3 Hill, hit him from behind. Oh, I see Lerm's coming at me. When I need that ECM. Alright, I'm coming to you guys. Oh, I got target there's a spider acquired. coming in. New target acquired. Hehehehe, <laughs> <behind me. laughs> Timberwolf. Spider behind me. Hello, Timberwolf. <laughs> New target acquired. I've opened up the back of that Timberwolf hard. Heat level critical. He's going down. New He's down. Acquired. Switch the firebrand. My back is almost open. Alpha. There we Damn. go! That That's easy. how you shut it out! Damn, good game, guys. BOOM! I was gonna say, I love my shotgun. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> I told you guys, this build wrecks face. Surprise brawl, activate. <laughs> Max damage, 187. I don't think they knew <laughs> about the fact that if you push them right away, yeah. you get right on them. Yep. They, they caught, we caught them a little surprised. Yeah. Yeah, I pushed those guys with my Warhawk. They didn't know what to do. I, I yep. swung around behind them. They had no clue it was coming. Hey, it was guys. amazing. Hey. So, okay, I didn't know you could just activate try hard mode. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but just go ahead and come with the commentators only. Uh, the I instant sweep uh, where they were able to walk their heaviest mechs right into the crowd and immediately unleash alpha firepower was <laughs> really <laughs> outstanding. To yeah, watch. the map gods were on their side, man. They got they got posted uh, posted up right next to in perfect position. I don't know that there's anything any Message response received. to that. <laughs> right. All right, guys. So we have. All of here for beer in here, and then we've got C San, team captain of uh, Team Jackie Chan, with us. Um, we were just saying, uh, where did that come from here for beer? <laughs> <laughs> like, what heck? That, we practiced. Guys, yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, say, it was like, 30 minutes of practice. We spent like five we're minutes practicing. trying to get coordinated. Yeah, that came out of nowhere. We were just like, oh, okay, well, what, this would be a really close match. And then, nope, uh, here for beer just decided they had practiced and they just turned on tryhard mode. And Well, I, I, I think it helps that they didn't notice the Stormcrow with the UAX swing behind the C3 hill. Um, yep. That that was helpful. <laughs> yeah. So, I oh, mean, man. Oh, the spanking was hard. Oh. <laughs> but... Yeah, uh, and also the usage of heat vision, a little known trick on that map to make them just stand out just like they're highlighted. I, I really cool. like heat vision on that map. I use it all the time. Yeah, we were talking yeah, about that. Uh, At first, that was weird to me, but it makes sense now that you can see the black dots as players. Yeah, right. Uh, it's some of the 
terrain on that map is kind of hard because it, of the the hitboxes on the terrain. But like, yeah, if you saw hey, me trying to hit that Timberwolf with an arc. Uh, yeah, right. Hey, C Sand, uh, what was it like that moment of actually the impact when the dire wolf opened up on you guys uh, and oh, you were yeah. taken by surprise from the yeah, right we, flank? We look around, we're like, oh, there's the warhawk and a dire wolf. And we're like, well, let's we're just about to fucking, get hit. Let's just run out there and get it over with. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, shit. What's that opening up my back armor? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was, that was good, guys. And I think you guys have. Um, we really enjoyed having all of you guys here. I mean, that was a lot of fun. and. Uh, man, that was quite a surprise. I don't think anybody was ready for that at all. Yeah, man, excellent round, well played <laughs> by both teams. Y'all got, y'all guys just got hit so quickly. I don't think y'all are ready. Well, yeah, that's, that, uh, that during practice, so we knew team two decides to push team one. You catch them out in the open, so we were gonna do that for our second drop. The first drop, we said if they decide to do that, we're gonna bring LRMs. If they push us, they might have that little burn for cover, but they won't have LRM cover. So we were ready for the, you know, the first two matches. Um, right. And after that, we had uh, a couple drops. We were ready to see what they were good at, and we were gonna counter it with a, a little a setup that we had available. So we kind of had that ready. So two questions. Excellent moves. Um, one. Cry, Cry, you brought a protector I have never seen before. All SRMs and an AC-20. Is that it was an invented? Orion, uh, or, a oh, VA. Orion. Oh, okay. Is that something you guys invented, or is that already something I've never seen before? Uh, I've, I've run it before. Um, oh, okay. It's not really a favorite, but we play. I used it last round, and we ended up winning uh, yeah. the third round with it. So I said, oh, this is a lucky mech right here. I'm going to take it again and see what happens. And, it was and really it interesting. Worked. Yeah, it um, really works well yeah, for uh, the build. close range um, brawling. So, I mean, SRM right. is just, what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. Right. And so the other thing I was going to ask is, you know, whenever you guys did practice a little bit, what did you learn from Caustic Valley? What are some of the, like, the, the moments of insight that you figured out, oh, this is the best strategy? You know, what were the, what was the thought process behind that? Well, well I think... I think I go did. ahead, Cart. Oh, I, I was going to say, uh, Cry and I were watching... The other day we were watching the, the other people play earlier rounds and he's just noticed how close the teams start to one another. So if one team wanted to rush the other, they would be get right in each other's faces really quickly. Absolutely. And also that that last game with the LRM you know, fire, uh, we realized there's really no cover if somebody gets caught on the open. That's where when we decided to go with the LRM route. Okay, that makes sense. That's really good insight. Um, so, uh, oh, uh, just one thing I wanted to say was that um, I was originally planning to run in my Raven, just pretty much straight down the trench and run into them uh, in that first round. But uh, somebody mentioned that right before we dropped that uh, had, I'd have no cover if they decided to push us. So I went uh, up into the Caldera, and that ended up being a good move because I saw where they moved. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was the good call i thought that you had overextended yourself but what ended up happening was you were in excellent position to spot what from their momentum to that left flank so that was that was really really well played yeah they couldn't push them because the lrms would have taken them out so because the lrms were holding into that position it allowed me to push up with my brawler uh, initially my brawler was just supposed to be uh, when they decide to push us because we knew we were going to keep LRMs and the cover was limited So their only option was to push us and I would be there waiting for them uh, I wasn't right. gonna pop out until they decided to get right on us But it turned out to be the other way where we had the uh, the offense. Yes, it did It did turn out to be you right on top of them. That was very 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 well orchestrated. So that was excellent to watch guys Red side you got any more questions? Yeah, I just want to get started on uh, round three. We, the next game we're going to see actually is on Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. between Commissar Regulars and Gold Eagle Merc Corp. Um, but uh, the semifinals will take place next weekend. Just a quick rundown of the rules so everybody knows. The rules do change a little bit. First off, um, this, this game will be on Conquest on Crimson Strait. And the tonnage will be the lowest it has been, which will be 220. Also, not only is there no PPCs, no artillery strikes, but there is sort of a 2-2-2-2 two, 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 two rule. Uh, you cannot bring any more than two per weight class. So that also will switch things up a little bit. Um, but other than that, that's it. I mean, I really enjoyed having everybody. That was a good match. Um, we've seen a lot of really good matches. We've seen some complete surprises, which like this one, 
Wasn't ready for that. Um, yep. <laughs> it's too yeah. fucking funny, but yeah. <laughs> I don't think anyone was really ready for that. Uh, sand about what he was thinking whilst behind the cover, because you know you're getting poked by that raven. Yeah, like, like, we learn. came out. There's these like this rain of missiles, and my back was just opened up. I'm like, shit. <laughs> so I'm yeah. gonna try to hide in like this rock, and just hopefully someone will just come around and try to like knife fight me, but it never happened. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I got like pulse lasers on there and SRMs. Oh, you did. You had that Orion. Uh, that Orion tried to peek around the corner, and make a push, and you guys did shove him back temporarily. That was uh, good to see. We got a good angle on that. Yeah, and, like then I'm like, okay, maybe the ECM next match. So I took my spider out, and uh, my brother there bought his heavy metal. <laughs> yeah, and we we sort of <laughs> thought, you know what, they're going to be taking ECM after that. Uh, LOM barrage, so let's just um, punch him in the face! Yeah. Done! <laughs> Warhawk, a Warhawk and a Direwolf. And a Stormcrow with a UAC and behind a you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's pretty terrifying. That was fun though, man. Although, uh, my first barrage, weapon jam. God damn it! Yeah. <laughs> uh, of course. Of course. Well, one of the great things about this is everybody has been a really good support about it. I mean, everybody's been shaking hands and let's go grab beers afterwards sort of mentality. So, I mean, that's kind of what we see in a game. We, the whole point of this tournament is to bring people together, meet new people, have a good time. So, I'm glad people have been really, that's been really well received. So, Yeah, man, it's been fun. Yeah, so uh, I guess that's it for today. Uh, the next match won't be till Tuesday and I will not be there. So, I will probably be just watching it from work. <laughs> But uh, congratulations to Here for Beer. You will be going up against First Grunwald, the team from uh, Poland, right? Somewhere okay. in Europe. <laughs> Poland, I believe. Um, yeah. Uh, so go ahead and I think we'll end the stream with that. And uh, thanks for joining us, everybody. <laughs> thanks and, a lot. Right. Thank so you. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Chan, for being a uh, class act. Yeah, you guys yeah. did a hell of a job. Right, good games, guys. Good games. Good games. <laughs> good games. I'll take it easy.